Alright, hello and welcome everybody to another Flight Sim Fan video. We're back in the F-18C Hornet by Eagle Dynamics, or actually by Bell Simtech in DCS World. And I thought I'd take th uh, the time today to show people how to fly uh, on speed AOA. There's a lot of, uh, I can always get a lot of questions saying what speed should I land on uh, in the F-18. And I always tell them on speed AOA and I don't know if they know what I mean by it, so I have to explain it. So I'm going to make this video um, to explain what on speed AOA is. Basically, the, the AOA angle of attack of the aircraft is shown you uh, in two places, or mainly two places in the uh, in the F-18. You get the AOA indexer, and you get the, also the AOA reading right here. Now, there's actually a third way, and then I'll come down with our, that comes down with our gear comes down. But these are the only two right now. So I'm gonna I think I can in active pause. Let's put down our gear. I believe it comes down. Yes, it does. So our gear is coming down now. You'll see something called the E bracket. There it is. Just popped up. So the easiest way to fly the AOA is with the E bracket. I'll put my hook down so that we'll get the stop. Uh, it'll stop flashing there. And now that we actually see a red light, this red light means that we're fast. So that means we're going a little fast for our, for our on speed AOA. It's a little fast. If it's a green light, we're a little slow. If it's an orange circle, you're on speed AOA, which means you're at your perfect landing speed and your perfect angle of attack. That's where you want to stay through the whole landing. There's no flare. You stay you stay on speed AOA the whole time until you touch down, either on runway or on the carrier. So I will unpause now. Actually, before I do, E brackets in the top end of the HUD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce power a little bit. I'm going to trim nose up, and you're going to see that E bracket. You're going to see it fall down to our velocity vector, and we want the left tick of the velocity vector here to mesh with the center line of the e-bracket. So let's unpause, take out power, trim nose up, and you can see the e-bracket starting to fall there. Just we'll put that power back in, keep trimming the nose up a little bit, and it's just very small power movements. I'll put my power movements right there actually on the left hand side. So that's trimming up and power. So now we're a lot, a lot of power to maintain it, but now we're using power to maintain level. I'm not touching the stick to maintain level. You can see my stick movements are, are neutral. It's just power up and power down. If I want to climb, I'll add power, and I say on speed. See how it's climbing with the AOA? If I want to, if I want to descend, I'll take out some power, and it should start descending with on speed AOA. And this is the primary tour for landing on a carrier or landing on a runway. You need to make left or right adjustments. That's with your stick. You can make left, you can go right, and it'll stay on speed AOA. Uh, so let's say you start putting pitch into it. Let's say, uh, usually people add uh, pitch when they want to climb, which is not correct. You start adding pitch, you start getting a green arrow, meaning you're slow. You're not actually climbing anymore. You're gonna start descending soon because you're gonna start stalling out a little bit. So it's not the best way to it's not the best way to climb. You start putting those down. You're gonna be fast, and uh, the LSO will know you're fast or slower on speed because of the little uh, light at the at the bottom here. Uh, just the top of the nose gear, you have red light, green light, and on speed AOA. So if I let go of the stick, it should center back at on speed AOA. Let's see, I let go of the stick completely. There it is. So that's how you know you have it perfectly trimmed. Look, I'll, I'll pull up, I'll let go of the stick, and it'll recenter back to on speed AOA. It's a very nice airplane. Uh, let's say you want to turn, just like that, um, the downwind to groove turn. It's 30 degree or 28 degree, 30 of bank. So I'll get in that. Oh no, we start descending, put in your power, and now you start to climb again. So you can hold that nice two to three degree glide on your turn, and that's all with power. Uh, when you roll out of these turns, if let's I'll keep the let's say I keep a constant power setting for this on speed away, I roll out, I don't fix my power, you're gonna start to climb naturally, because in a turn you lose lift, so you put more power in. And once you put that power in and you roll out, you must take it back out to be leveled off. So you kind of get used to it. It's a lot of playing around with the power, but uh, it's very nice and very easy to do once you've uh, flown with it a little bit. So we'll do it again. Let's put our gear, let's go full power, put our gear up. We'll put our flaps up incrementally. There's flaps half. There's flaps full. You see that massive nose drop. All right, so let's just, we're 260 knots. Let's just burn down to 250 knots. Let's just, cool, can do it. Let's mess with our trim a little bit. Let's go up, down. That's the trim a little bit so it's not set. Alright, 240 knots. Gear down. We'll just put flaps full because it should be automatic. We'll come down incrementally. We'll uh, cancel this master warning. 
don't need it. So E bracket's high again because we're fast. So what are we going to do? I'm going to leave my power out, maybe a little bit, not, not idle, but just a little bit up. And we're going to keep holding the nose up, adding the power. See that sink, how that happens? you got to catch it before it starts to sink, and that's with power. And I'm talking about the velocity vector. So I'll do that again. I'll get really fast again. So I want that E-bracket to come down, right? So I pull power back a little bit. I'm not going to pull idle too much unless you really need it. But if you don't add power fast enough, this is what happens. So I'm not adding power. It'll just keep falling. So you got to be on the power all the time and watch your E-bracket. And that's how to fly on speed AOA. So it's a lot of trim, a lot of power. And once you get it perfectly trimmed, you... Uh, Basically, it makes the landing a lot easier. Uh, last thing, if, you're, if your um, velocity vector is like this towards your uh, E-bracket, you'll get a little, you're a little slow and on speed. S to fix this, you trim nose down. There's one tap nose down. One more tap nose down. Let's try one more tap nose down. So it's three taps from that position to get on speed AOA. Same thing if you're, if you're fast, you just trim nose up as you would. So when you're landing, no stick or very minimal stick and uh, lefts and rights and uh, very minimal positive and uh, y-axis stick only if you need to slow down or speed up so if you need to speed up you nose down you need to pit if you need to slow down you pitch up that's how that works with the pitch in this airplane so hope you enjoyed i'll see you in the next video thank you